fact that they're all here and all you had to do is this is i want you to visualize this i i've said this before some games like you lost this game because of this so guys in this one we're going to be doing some vod reviews for this session client lives in the boonies his words <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so um we do have some 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 ranked losses so we do have some games here so let's yeah which one? i feel do like you... the cane and the volleyball one like i wasn't really <laughs> like trying those the diet one 17 9 though i definitely wanted to win that one i don't like okay let's look at this one so i usually i do like this open where i put like a a word between like the top side camp somewhere like i don't know i usually mm -hmm. i don't know where to put it like i decided to put it on my red now and see if they cheese my red or something but Maybe I could put it somewhere better, I'm not sure. And then I get the scanner. <laughs> I failed to get this guy. <laughs> oh no, I actually trained him. Yeah. I didn't think it was that bad. So I think the bigger issue is that you hesitated on the play. Oh uh, yeah, I mean like just go with it right away. But. Okay. Yeah, so this is a uh, this is one of those spots where I get to be hindsight heroy because it's a vod review. Yeah. This is one of the reasons that like vod reviews are a little hit or miss with me. So as this is happening back here, you should if you were thinking about going top, which you are, you should be looking up here and seeing this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was watching that. Yeah, that's you why saw I went it. There. Yeah. Okay, so that makes you playing it slow even worse. So what you should have done is you should have walked oh, right in and just flash Q it. Mm. Instead of hesitating. Oh, like, my Q, yeah, because I didn't hit the Q on him yet. Probably would have got him then, yeah. Because you know he doesn't have flash, that means that you can just kind of full send it. And you would also really like to kill him right now for another reason. What do you think it is? It's even more, like it's even worse than that. So what you do is if you kill him and you set up, he, he's very likely to just TP in and die again. Yeah, that's who you kill him again, yeah. So one of the plays, so one of the plays I really like to do is, so let's say that you go ahead and you do the exact play. So you walk up, you flash, and you kill this guy. What you would then do is you walk out like you're leaving Okay. Mm. And then like wrap around back in. And then be all snaky yeah. and then come here <laughs> yeah. and just wait. And then try to get into this bush. Because if you could kill him twice, you can make the game 4v5. Yeah, he'll, he'll, yeah, it's pretty doomed for him. For sure. And Rise is the type of champion that I just generally love to cheese a lot. Because they're the ones that always seem to struggle the most. Wait, okay. I was like, is this guy going to go under tower for real? <laughs> Weird build Maybe. here that we're going. Yeah, no, I like going this tank build for some reason. Cause like, uh, if I feel like I try building AP early, I'm like really squishy. Like Garen just like decides to like jump on top of me. I think I'm just gonna die to him. Crap, Diana sucks on this patch. What the fuck? I'm like going through her win rates everywhere. It's awful. Like I don't feel like the AP was like really strong on her, so I started building like the these, this tank build, and it's been really like it's been really working for me. So I've just been sticking to it. Okay. I mean, at this point, I don't even, I can't even say I blame you. Because <laughs> her win rate's just atrocious in this patch. Uh, this is like, the, like this tank build too. I, I literally can solo bear it every time, like three items in 20 minutes. It's really crazy. Like this guy can't even kill me and I just kill him. <laughs> yeah, I, I walked up to like that guy, guy ult me, but they killed him, I guess. But... So, <clears throat> I don't know if that was really worth. Like, maybe they could have had him without me, but yeah, I'm not a fan. Uh, I, I would rather just let him just kill, let him kill the support, Jillian. really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because 
Anytime you let someone kill, like, in situations like these, I want you to look at his XP. Right. You have yeah, a lot of XP like, for this, yeah. Oh, no, he got, yeah, he got a lot from it. Mm -hmm. It's just not worth, and it also gets him closer to you because you're dead and you can't farm your camps. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like downtime for me. For no don't, reason. yeah, don't, don't put yourself on CD for that. Don't what take a great vacation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually die here. I, yeah, so I this is gonna here. be this is gonna be my first criticism. My first major criticism. Yeah. <laughs> so here you finally are allowed to get this dragon for free. Um then, yeah, I just tut on that instead. I probably could have just got dragon. I saw where my team was and then I just kinda like decided that I was gonna do something else and like try to like create like so, a pick somewhere so i can get it for free maybe this is unnecessary though because you know where their jungler is and yeah. you should just be there, yeah. denying the soul because as much as i'm like not you know i'm not all about dragons or anything right but you've got to get you've got to get the soul threat off the map and it's more valuable than any kill here yeah, I wasn't really like trying to go for a kill there, but I wanted like the camp and I was gonna go to dragon. And then he started like challenging me, so I just got mad and tried to fight. <laughs> That's all it was, really. And then yeah, I realized I made a mistake. That was it. And then I get dragon to just so, that was a really troll move. Yeah, it is. And so what we need to start thinking about is when you are when you are like you said, challenging or scrapping for things, ask yourself what's at stake. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely had to pay attention to like that dragon coming up. That would have been probably a more slowdown of nerd game for getting every single one. <laughs> yeah, because like, I think it's real easy to forget what's at stake when you're in the heat of the game and you forget like almost I feel like sometimes when you die in this game, you go, oh shit, I'm about to lose Baron. Yeah, <laughs> I'm about to lose dragon. So like that means that you weren't thinking ahead of the play. Right, yeah. No, I wasn't thinking ahead there, I guess. You are I usually see, do, but I a good way there. a good way to view league too is like think of it some somewhat like this, like get the lead. So get lead. How do we get a lead in the jungle? Like what's like the uh Just make a gank is, work usually Yeah, or... make a gank work. Um, like, or just, just farm ahead of him. Or counter I like that what you just said. Farm ahead of him, right? Yeah. So just like out path or whatever, right? Out path or counter jungle or a gang. Deny him camps. Yep. Gank, yeah. You can even like uh, get XP from like a way that your teammate died from yeah. or whatever and just take it. But generally speaking, this is what it is. So right now, you already have the lead, right? Yep. So like you have the lead. So we've, we've, ex we've gotten here, right? So now it's coast. Okay. It's we coast. Like, do what we want, like just take every objective and. Yeah. And float. then you could even put like, you know, two a, uh, don't throw try your hardest not to throw and overplay stuff yeah it's more important than getting the kills like when the goal is lp so like when you're setting a goal to climb to like climb fast this is more important yeah coast and don't throw, yeah. you don't need to get like you know plus you know three uh bad three plus like three five seven kills all of this is like irrelevant these don't matter yeah like they kind of just come in to my hand pretty much they fall into while, your lap yeah they fall into yeah. your lap and then you just get a free you know you just get a free game or whatever yeah the only reason that you would do this type of stuff is really to just like learn your champion more um, that's yeah, really was, about I was it. I was a little bit this game, but like, you know, I was caught obviously too much. Look at some points. So that would be the thing that I would say is just get the lead. And once we have it coast, and then if you're, you know, let's say that you don't have the lead and we, we fail or whatever. Right. 
Um, yeah. Oh, I can't back up any further. Damn. So let's say we don't get the lead. Then you just go for like big, big shutdowns and like big fucking bounties, right? So it's just shutdowns and bounties. That's all we care about once we're uh, behind. Like even tower bounties now, like cause like now yeah. you get like a big bounties. And yeah. like, you know, uh, 1v1s, like you just do risky 1v1s or, you know, uh, like gimmicky win, gimmicky like yeah gimmicky fights like uh death bush and stuff like that where you just like fucking sit in a yeah. random brush and like try to cheese somebody with the shutdown like this or is the type like, of shit that you do or out of a fight like anything really so in this getting, getting out of a fight is still pretty good too they're really they're purely just trying to cheese you and get back into the game with the shutdown yeah I guess it wasn't really cheese though. Like they weren't really pulling off the cheese well. It was just kind of no, like you just fighting for no yeah. reason. Yeah. <laughs> just thinking I could one shot him and get out, but clearly that didn't happen. And then yeah. Well, let's let's analyze and let's look and see how much we lose for that death though. Dragon, dragon gone and. Well, from a gold perspective, so where were we before this play? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I probably got a lot of gold from Ian. It was Ezreal that got it too, so even worse. <laughs> So a good way to view, so is to look at the gold value before the play and then after we respawn. So yeah. right now it's uh 28.0k, all right? I wouldn't say it's just the gold either. They got a shit ton of XP as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like let's really just look it. at it. Let's look, yeah, let's do that. So we got 11 10 10 10 9 and then we've got uh, 12, 12, uh, whatever this guy's level is. I assume he's about 12 or 11. So what is he right now when he died? He so, yeah. I think he's 11 or something. 10. 10 <laughs> so. Oh, that was there though. It was way back. Yeah, it's too far back. Oh, he still is 10. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. He's level 10. He dies at level 10. So... So it's technically... Yeah, so at 28. And then once we respawn. And so that guy was at 10. Okay, so right now, let's let it run for a second. Wait. So right there, when you're back on the map, we are now... 36 to 31. So yeah, 31. So now we're only a 5k difference instead of 6k. So we lost 1k. Boats. Yeah, give or take. And then the levels also. Did they move levels forward? They didn't really move levels forward unless... Hold on. They nudged it. Probably. It was like a nudge a little bit probably. But they also still get the bonus from the dragon. So that's still value in some way. So it's not a, it's not a huge throw yet. Um, but like, yeah, they have soul threat, which the threat of soul also kind of adds into this. Yeah. Um, you know, once they get soul, that has like an inherent gold value. I don't know how valuable six, you know, percent armor and MR is. I don't know how much right. value these are, you know, really. I don't think the auto combat is worth it. Um, the anti dragon is pretty good for them. And I would say the mountain is all right for them. So it really depends on how valuable you view these dragons as, but like, just the goal, the soul threat is going to be huge. So right now, you know, like you said, the difference here is about, like you said, a thousand. We'll say we give them a thousand gold back and breathing room. Well, it was also like a thousand gold to one of their carries that like scales really well later. Yeah. So. Yeah, that alt was goofy. 
He's the wind fighter. Should be a Baron here. Oh god, if you guys don't Baron, it's so bad. Okay, yeah. So this is where generally, in terms of just like what loses the game, this would be it. Mm. Like when I do VOD reviews, yeah. I just try to find the thing where it's like 100% like, here's where you lost the game. This is where you lost the game. I don't know no. if I tried to ping it or not. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just didn't see it. I there. don't hear a single ping, yeah. Yeah, probably wasn't. Yeah, we do probably do Baron there. I was thinking like... It's just too strong. Like it's too strong of a spot. Baron, it's too strong of a spot to not Baron. Right there, yeah. I don't yeah. know. I guess I was thinking like tower, and then we Baron, but yeah, no, maybe just you're right there. Away. Like you're on top of it. Yeah. It's, just it's, it's a right must. There. It's a must. Yeah, it's a must. It's not even like a question. Like if you assist ping this like five or six times, you win this game. It. I can solo it. I'm pretty sure. I'm like, that's that's, that's what I was it. thinking. Is like this build that you have. Like you're really yeah, tanky yeah. and your team just has to DPS and like it's it's just it's troll that you're not burning there True. In my opinion, no, that is true like, I guess I was seeing it as a way that we can like get a tower fast and then do it. Yeah. Probably should just do it Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna lay it out like this for you as a rule it's like the most important thing to get in the game when you can get it is Baron. Like Baron is like rank one. Out of towers or anything. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Baron is like rank one, everything. Um, right, the only we thing- the opportunity to get it, so we, at least we would have had it and then probably got a tower after it. Well, Baron, Baron is valuable also because it's it's an insurance policy. It's it's like- They can't get it. We it's deny anti, it from them. Yeah, it's anti-throw basically. Like, like people view up. people view Baron as like a throw mechanic, and yeah, obviously if they steal it, it's a throw. But like it's like right. anti throw slash like insurance policy. They there had is nobody like, to steal it there, so like we had it for free for sure. The only thing that is better than Baron is Elder right now. Yeah. Soul is like below them both, um, but realistically, Soul is kind of like Soul does not. You know, if I lose soul, I don't think it's the end of the world right now. So soul is like below them both. I can't I can't imagine why I didn't choose to get buried though. That's so weird. And inhib is probably less than soul in a game of solo queue. I'm gonna say the excuse if I was tired of shit. Maybe I wasn't thinking about it, but I can't believe I didn't go for buried there. Usually I probably would. I don't know what I was doing, that's why. But elder elder doesn't really occur that often until late game. So elder we don't even have to 30 minutes. Yeah, we, we, we really don't have to consider... Yeah, we don't have to really worry about Elder, but if Elder happens and the team gets it, it's pretty hard to survive Elder. The team that gets Elder normally wins. Um, yeah. It's just how it goes. Because... Elder and Baron are... They require teams that are facing them to do things that uh, solo queue players won't do. And if it's Baron, it requires players to give away objectives for free. Which is a really tough thing for newbies to do. Um, like Baron forces you to like go of objectives, and Elder forces you to not fight and just clear waves, which people will never fucking do. <laughs> that that one, Elder is the one where no one defends versus Elder properly. Because versus Elder, you're legit supposed to just run away and clear waves when you can. Yeah. So, any the, the takeaway here from this game before we move on to the next one is that you trolled here. Not getting burned, right? Yeah, the dragon the dragon is is bad but not egregious. Your team standing right on outside the pit, and I want to show you positionally why it's so bad. The fact that they're all here and all you had to do is ping. This is I want you to visualize this. I, I've said this before, some games, like, you lost this game because of pings. Yeah. Well, it was also my decision, too. If I was going for it, I would have pinged, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you did. You, you did actually it was part ping of my decision. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm just saying that it was, that's the difference maker. Yeah. It's like, like, simply pinging like this a few times. Teammate, maybe if it was, like, a other way around, maybe, like, someone on my team was pinging me to do it, then I would have done it, probably. Yep. 
So basically, you know, that's actually a really good point that you just made because each and every one of you had a chance to make the right ping. Yep. So four of you were basically, <laughs> it was a mini game, okay? So it's like a mini game. Yeah. All right, you're all, you know, you're all players thrown into a, a room here and you've, you, you're asked the question, what do I do here, right? And you all chose to mindlessly group and not, n not a single person pinged this. Mm -hmm. So that means that every single one of you failed this test. Yep. Right? So it's a good way. It's a good way to kind of just like everybody we here is at fault. Them. Yeah. Everybody here is at fault. And the only way that, you know, like you said, if one of them pings, you would have followed. So if one of them pings, they would have gotten LP probably. Right. <laughs> right. Um, I'm just fascinated by it because it's almost like a butterfly effect, right? <laughs> it's like, you know, he, one of you could have changed the entire dynamic of the game and it was as simple as just pinging. But since nobody did it, nobody led. And then let's see what happened. How did we throw? Just didn't get it. That's all. We just ended up, ended up getting Baron and then they overplayed maybe and then they died and then they died. And so they get soul. Oh wait, not yet. Oh no, they definitely did. Yeah, he actually ends up stealing it. That was pretty sad. Uh, tragic. No, uh, or I just wasn't there, was it? No, he did. Was not there? No, he was there, yeah. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Yeah, crazy. Well, I, I, I was like, holy! He just literally like triple killed him there. Like, what? whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? He must have crit or something because he was what going the hell is like this guy's no build. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's going yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's run that back. <laughs> Guys, here you go. Garen is asleep, bro. P. Look at this. Oh, look at that guy walked up and just died. Gave him triumph to us. <laughs> That's the fastest Garen kills, dude. How, how did he die? Like, what was I don't know. Dying? I don't know what killed him. So weird. Was, he didn't have anything like uh, that to answer to anything. What? what did he die for? Ignite. Oh. Okay, so what ignited him? Oh, his yeah. boomerang came back and hit him. Really? Yeah. It was buggy, but it came back and hit him. Wow. <laughs> wow, that was intense. And then... So you guys go on to get a Baron, but by now... By now, the game has become a coin flip because it's a 27 minute game. Or do they just get Elder and that's how they beat you? Now I'm curious. You double killed him, huh? What did you do with it? You pushed? Yeah, I think it's just. I wasn't really sure, like, where to do, like, uh, I don't know if I could have, like, tested their base. Maybe I could have helped them after there, too, but... I think I was just, like, playing, like, really greedy for myself here, because I saw they were making a lot of mistakes, so I was like, what can I do to just, like, keep being strong or, like, try to get, like, full build or something? Yeah, we get this. Oh no, we don't. Uh, <laughs> Holy shit! Fun, is it? Yeah, just a little bit of damage there. Dude, what the fuck? This game is a mess. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I was Ezreal stole that Derek. We probably would have won if they didn't get that steal at all. I need to turn my Maybe music back on again. Right before that too, I think I want like a red pot or something too. Maybe if I want a blue pot. I don't know, I was trying like a red pot for some reason. 
Maybe maybe if I went blue pot there, would have just killed them all and maybe like still win and just live there and maybe Cause if I'm alive and they're all dead, I can end the game. Like not like it definitely won't take long to end the game. I think I was just trying to cheese death push here. I don't think it was ever gonna work. Seeing if they were coming around. I just hate with this build that your objectives aren't a priority. Like taking a Baron or something? Yeah. I feel like I could have gone for it, but then like they would have just all collapsed on me. So I could definitely solo it, but they had a lot of vision on it. Like, every time I tried to check in, they had like ward on it or something. So you get and Baron, there. Yeah. do you group here? Like, I feel like it's the only way you lose. Try to like make a pick there, nothing. I I know why we lost you, I think. I just went in for this fight. It didn't really work, work and then I died. <laughs> so no. they steal it. The second point I want to make before we move on to the second replay is late game scenarios. Um, There's no like, you can't be wrong late game. Yeah. You can be wrong a bunch, like you see. You, you were wrong a bunch this game and it didn't matter. Yeah. You're still destroying, even with, like I said, even with Soul, and even with them having Head Elder. But like, you're wrong at a terrible time here. Mm -hmm. I think it was just tragic that they stole the Elder. Like Brand ended up getting it with this passive burn or something. Like maybe if my team got the Elder, they could have done something. <sighs> Keep it. Because I got like two of them really low. So if they got that Elder. And all they had to do was just fight that 4v5 and then like he backstop the rice push and then I beat back up and then we just close the game. Yeah, we're just getting molly walked. That's that, that that was the idea of like why I went through that fight and like did that 1v4 dive because like I figured you know maybe if I kill somebody here they all just gonna get elder for free. The problem is you need to have an exit strategy planned when you do this. Yeah, there was no exit strategy. It was just like fight to the death and hope I win. 